there friends welcome back to my channel planty princess my name is Ashley today I am going to be sharing with you six of my fastest growing Hoyas I was going to do my top five but I had six obviously that I couldn't decide which one to eliminate um, because they are all just growing so fast and then there's a certain factor of one that I really thought categorized that particular Hoya into this top six so I had to just include them all anyways although I do have one carnosa I tried to stay away from the carnosas the macrophyllas the pubicalyx and all those Hoyas that you know when we google easy Hoyas beginner Hoyas fast growing Hoyas those are typically what people are talking about and what comes up in your search so I wanted to provide a little more variety for you guys and also give you guys some Hoyas that are just a little more unique. Now these are not the cheapest Hoyas, but they are not the most expensive Hoyas either. They're in a reasonable price range, I believe, for anybody to obtain. They're not really hard to find and they are just six of the most amazing Hoyas. So without any further ado, let's kick this thing off and let me show you the first Hoya. The first Hoya is going to be the most common, as I mentioned, I do have one Carnosa and it is my Carnosa Crimson Princess. Now, I picked this one because I absolutely love the variegation. I just think, especially for a more common, you know, plant and a more inexpensive plant. It really is just so beautiful. I think this is definitely one every plant lover, every Hoya lover definitely needs to have in their collection. So the variegation is just so gorgeous. The difference between the princess and the queen is the princess has green edging around. So the variegation is on the inside and then the queen has the variegation on the outside. So that's how you tell the difference. But anyways, as you see the variegation, it's just so gorgeous and I really do love this plant. When I first got this plant, it was definitely a decent size and I will show you a picture. I have pictures of all of these when I first got them except for one. Um, so this was definitely a decent size, but as you can see, it really has just flourished. I mean, you can almost not even see the trellis on this half of the plant. It is, it has, I think, three or four tendrils now that are wrapped around this trellis. The tendrils wrapped all the way to the end, and it does have leaves kind of growing in in different spots, like right here, there's a leaf coming in, and there's there's just leaves just leaves are just growing out of this thing like like you wouldn't believe i mean this thing is getting leaves literally like every other day i can't believe it and multiples of them too so all these plants i've had for about a year now i'm either going on a year like this one i got this last may so i'm going on a year for this one um and maybe the others i've had for maybe like eight months some of them but i'm all pretty much approaching a year so within a year's time they have grown significantly, which is why I picked the Hoyas that I picked, because I wanted to show you what you can accomplish just within the first year of owning these plants. I know for myself, I'm so anxious to see my plants grow. I like to watch them and I really hate having slow growing plants because every day I'm like, did you grow yet? Did you grow yet? And nothing's there. So for me, having some of these fast growing plants in my collection kind of keeps me content with the slower growing ones. It keeps me kind of at bay, kind of patient for the ones that do take a little more time to grow because I'm able to see so much beautiful growth just kind of popping out of nowhere. So this is the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. Moving on, we will go with my Hoya, my Hoya Obscura Major. This is another one that I really do love. When I first got this one, it was actually rather small. Um, I did do an, um, maybe I didn't, I can't remember if I did an unboxing on this one or not, but I did post it on Instagram and it did happen to be two cuttings. Um, I did only bid on eBay for one cutting. The guy threw in an extra cutting for me, so I thought that was really neat. But again, they were both super small. I ended up losing the second cutting anyways. Um, it wasn't really that healthy, but 
the first cutting turned into this. It is so big and the leaves have grown so long. Like if I compare it to one of my fingers, it is literally the size of, even a tiny bit bigger than the size of my finger. The venations in this one is just gorgeous. I love how they kind of stick out really lime green, kind of whitish almost. And I have multiple tendrils on this one as well. This one just pushed out its second tendril. And it looks like, yep, it just pushed out its second tendril. So it has two leaves, four leaves on its second tendril here. And it is pushing out a third tendril right down here if you're able to see that right here which is really neat so this one has also been a pretty fast grower for me this one does sun stress if you give it enough light i've been working on sun stressing some of my hoyas i finally got my hoya sunrise my hoya rosita and I think there was one other one but anyways i finally got a few of my hoyas to kind of start getting that sun stress on some of their leaves so this one is actually under different lights i'm going to have to move this to the lights that i am using to sun stress those hoyas because this plant really does look super stunning sun stress so definitely keep that in mind if you choose to get this specific hoya but again this one is just such a rewarding hoya it's such a fast and elegant grower and the leaves are so cute and elongated with really nice venations let's move on we will go with the hoya kentiana variegata now there are a couple variations of this one you got the uh hoya kentiana i think it's called the lori lynn which is like opposite variegation kind of like the carnosa crimson queen and princess it's just sort of switched around this is just your standard kentiana when i got this one i got this from plantarena.com it was one of my first hoyas that i've gotten and it was my first plant that I ordered from Plantarina. They have really nice and healthy plants. So of course it was definitely a full pot of this beautiful plant, but you could definitely see that there was some like balding kind of, if that's what you want to call it. There was definitely some open space that needed to be filled in. And now within a year of having this plant, she's so luscious. <laughs> she's trailing really nicely. She has a lot of really beautiful pink coming into some of her new leaves there and she is just really such a full plant. That dark leaf in front there is one of her newer leaves. That's how they come in and I think it's so gorgeous. And they kind of get like a little pink tint to them like this one, this one is the newer leaf too. And then they get the variegation and lose that pink, at least for me anyways. None of mine have kept the pink, but it's so pretty to see it as it comes in. So that is one of the big reasons why I love this one because I love the color of the leaves as they come in, watching them go from that dark to kind of like that pinky color and then seeing that beautiful cream variegation kind of come in. This is definitely a perfect Hoya for trailing because the leaves are just kind of so narrow and it's full, like it produces so many leaves that it just kind of looks so gorgeous cascading as you see over a pot. It's almost like a head of hair. I love it. We are going to move on to something a little more funky, I think, in my opinion, which is the Hoya Botanica. Now, I'm going to show you the picture of when I first got this, and you're going to think to yourself, that kind of looks the same. Yes, it does. So, when I first got this plant, it was the same size. I did end up propagating a nice big chunk of it. So it in fact grew back and it is now at its current size. So it did grow pretty fast, pretty nicely, although it still looks the same. That's because I took a propagation when I first got it and it is now finally back to its original size. Also, it is growing another tendril coming in right here. So it is getting a second tendril, which is always awesome to have on your plants because it will get more full at the top. It is also kind of branching off right here, which is really neat because that will also make it look more full, produce more leaves, give me something more to propagate if I choose. This is another one that does look really beautiful when it is sun stressed. The leaves can literally get completely vibrant red with those venations sticking out so gorgeously. 
If you are looking for a nice, unique plant to sunstress, this is definitely your girl, okay? Put this plant under some bright light and in a few months, you should start to see some of that sun stress come out. It is gorgeous. This one has really thick leaves. Um, and again, all these are pretty easy to care for. In my experience, I've had no issues. Also, these are all plants that do well and grow well in your average humidity, which in my opinion would be 40 to 50%. So if you don't have a humidifier, if you don't um, live in an area with normally a higher humidity, all these plants still will grow great for you. So definitely keep that in mind. In mind. And of course, with that extra added humidity, will grow even better. But that's just something I wanted to add in there really quick. So I've had no problems with any of these Hoyas, but this one has just been so lovely for me. I even see actually now that I'm looking up close to it, there's a bunch of other growth points coming in. I see two here, one down here, one here. There's just so many. Another one over here. So this has literally grown so quickly. So there's another one down in here. I don't know if you'll be able to catch that, but another one down in there. There's some growing in right here. There's one coming in right here on my finger. So not only has it grown back to its original size, it is definitely putting off a lot more tendrils now as well, which is super awesome. We'll go to my one and only. This one is so long. So when I got it, it was like a nice full head here and had a tendril maybe like, I don't know, like this long to my fingers, but there was like not really any leaves on it. It is now two tendrils. Ah, and has some really awesome aerial roots coming out of there. I don't know if I can get that. But this is the Hoya Parasitica variegata. So this is one of my favorite leaves. This has such gorgeous variegation, big leaves. They're on the thicker side as well, and this one grew i think this this one and my carnosa have been the fastest growing for me on this list so this one was definitely one of the ones that had grown more rapidly on this list here and not only has it grown super super fast in the first year of owning this plant it has also put out a peduncle I might have to take a picture of it. It might be hard to see. So it's right here. I hope you guys can get it. Anyways, if it, you can't, I will definitely make sure I put a picture of that on there. But not only will it reward you quickly with lots of new foliage, it will reward you with blooms as well. Again, another thing that I'm super impatient about, I was like, when are my Hoyas going to flower? When are my Hoyas going to flower? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to do for you? What do you want? I'll give you anything you need. And nothing, nothing, nothing. I've been waiting. I've been looking, literally observing every single stem at every, every node, looking for peduncles, looking for peduncles, and have yet to come across one. And then one day I was doing my little check-in with all my plans, looking for you know, new growth, flowers, all that kind of stuff, making sure they're, they're not thirsty. And I saw the cutest little peduncle ever. And I was literally so stoked. I'm telling you, Hoyas sometimes, most of the time, do take more than your first year to flower unless you were giving them literally optimal conditions. And by optimal, I mean like what they're used to growing in their native environment and that's kind of hard to achieve even if you do have a grow tent sometimes that's hard to achieve especially because you have multiple plants in that one environment and although they do like you know most of the time they will like that similar temperature and humidity of course they all come from different places so it's hard to achieve an optimal environment having multiple plants in the same environment but it was just such a rewarding moment when I came across this peduncle and it made me feel like, wow, I really took such good care of this plant. And if you are a huge plant collector and you know, if, if this is 
a big hobby for you, you will definitely understand how that feeling could feel. So definitely, this is another one that you definitely need to get if you're looking for something super rewarding, super gorgeous. It's definitely on the unique side. It's easily accessible, easy to care for, and again, it is not pricey. So we are going to move on to the last one, number six. Now this one is not big, so you're gonna be like, why are you showing me this, okay? So there's a couple plants in here. I am showing you the Hoya Callistophylla. This one right here, I do have two. I have one with three leaves and I have one with just two leaves. This is the only Hoya that I do not have a picture of when I first got it, but it was just this one leaf and it did not have this tendril coming up there. Why I'm showing you this is because I've only had this for a few months, maybe probably between four, five, maybe six months. And yes, it only has put out one leaf and maybe a two inch, inch tendril, but it didn't put only one, not two, but three peduncles in that four to six months. That right there is just so incredible. So in a maximum of six months time, it has given me three peduncles. Again, as I just was mentioning, like that is just, I was not expecting it. When I came, this one I keep at the big grow tent at my mother's house. So I didn't see it right away until it was like literally this big. And I was like, oh my goodness, this thing is about to flower. The peduncle on my, and this does happen often, the, pedun the peduncle on the last plant that I showed you, my Parasitica variegata, I don't think it's going to open sadly. But it was still a very successful moment to even be able to get a peduncle that will make it more, that will give it more of a chance to flower next year or within the next year um, than if it didn't have a peduncle because the flowers come out of those same peduncles and obviously they can make more and push out more peduncles, but that peduncle will bloom multiple times. So anyways, back to the Clistophylla. To see three of those, I was literally like astonished and they are way bigger than that. They literally look like they're forming flowers and let me just show you. So there's one that I don't think is going to open. There's one that um, it may or may not. And then there's one that it budded the flowers, the flowers dropped and then it pushed out more buds of flowers. So I'll show you the first one. It's super tiny. It is right down in here, literally at the tip of my finger. I'm not sure if you will get to see it on camera. Um, yeah, you can see it. So it's real tiny in there, but nonetheless, it is a peduncle. Then we have the second one right there. It's a little bit bigger. That's the one that I'm iffy about. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll go, maybe it will not we will have to see but then ladies and gentlemen we have this one down here that one is definitely going to open that has been the one that dropped its buds and then reformed those buds right there let me just zoom in a bit because you just need to see up close look at that So gorgeous. So although this one didn't grow fast in the sense of foliage or leaves, getting three peduncles in six months is just incredible to me. And I definitely think it deserves to be on this list of fastest growing Hoyas. So these are the six Hoyas that I really wanted to share with you today. I wanted to give you some options on some Hoyas to choose from, give you a little bit of variety, a little something different then you would normally see when you look up beginner Hoyas or fastest growing Hoyas. Um, also, all these Hoyas here are generally pretty easy care. They can be for beginners as well. So just because they're putting out peduncles, just because they're growing all this foliage, don't let that intimidate you. You can definitely grow each and every one of these Hoyas with a little TLC, a little patience and a little time. Thank you guys again for joining me in another video. I hope you enjoyed all the Hoyas that I had to share with you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plan's a princess. Bye.